हेलो गाइस दिस इज़ मोहम्मद इलियास फर्स्ट आई एम गोना इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ पार्ट टाइम बग बाउंटी हंटर यूट्यूबर आई एम डूइंग बग बाउंटी हंटिंग एज अ पार्ट टाइम बेसिस एंड आल्सो क्यूरेटिंग वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग दिस बग बाउंटी हंटिंग टुडे माय एजेंडा इज टू एक्सप्लेन वट इज़ एच टी एम एल वाई इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द security researchers such as bug bounty hunters and other penetration testers html stand for hypertext markup language it means this forms the backbone of the internet definitely every web page is built by the html the structure of the every web page no matter it's google.com or facebook.com or whatever.com after this structure the content of the web page markup language means structure the content of web pages web page have the content like first there should be a title and after that there should be a heading first heading second heading these structures are maintained during html html uses tags to define the structure of web page it means that html is a markup language markup language mean it also uses tags predefined tags and it is structure of web page i have already uh, discussed this structure mean that not including designing it's just the structure like human body has the structure uh, which is built by the bones and similarly the website have the structure which is built by the html other thing it is used for creating headings paragraph links and images and many more definitely uh, you are going to see the images for example of your friend of your family on fa- facebook and instagram wherever the images embedded in the page the code written in behind the scene which you are not accessing at the moment this code is written in html let's move further html document structure html document is a blueprint of web page this means that it is a blueprint for every web page it is mandatory okay i can't emphasize the importance of html in the like it's like if you are you are a body of a human which doesn't have bones i think uh, it does not sustain so that's why the html is mandatory number 2 a specific structure that we need to follow html is a specific structure that needs to be follow in every web page maybe you are thinking that it's complicated it's programming it's coding no it's really it's it is easier than it looks basic html document it start with the doc type html tag this tells the browser that we are using html5 nothing special in it doc type html there is no complicated other things that this specific tag tells the browser that we are using html5 that's it the other thing html tag itself is a tag wraps the entire document like the javascript the css and the other things which are included in this html tag inside the html tag there is a head and a body tag inside the head tag section head tag contains the meta information the title for example and many more after that there comes the body section body section contains visible content of the web page don't worry if this is become you know very theoretical i am going to explain and give a demo of the what the html document looks like and how it works okay the body section contains the visible content of the web page like if you are seeing an image if you are seeing a link on a web page this is included in the body tag of the html document this is the sample of html document which have firstly you can see that the doc type html is written after that html tag is opened this is the opening tag of the html and this is the closing tag of the html you can see it here the closing tag ends with slash 
and HTML tag. The opening tag does not have any slash. Okay, this is the difference between opening and closing tag. Similarly, inside the HTML tag, we have head tag. Head tag like contains other tags like title, my first web page. This is the title of the website. The other thing is closing the head tag. Here we have opened the head tag and after that we have closed the head tag so inside the html tag there is a head tag opening and closing and body tag opening and closing we have already discussed that html tag wraps the entire document of page you know html html tag basically wraps the entire document so inside the body tag here we have written the h1 h1 mean the heading one tag hello world and this p mean is a paragraph tag which is opened here and closed at here and after that an href tag which contains a like link for example https example.com visit the example likes and after that br tag mean break the line it will make it will break a line and after that embed this image.jpg this url is contain an image this is the image tag of the html which is self closing tag which does not have an opening and closing tag like br tag does not have any opening or closing tag these are called self closing tags and these also the image tag is also a self closing tag so there are a lot of other self closing tags you can search on the internet you will find a lot of the other self closing tags but you have to try with yourself the tags which are necessary for yourself not in depth in practical demo see that how the html basically is going to work so what i am going to do is i have made a folder named bug bounty hunters html so i am gonna open this with my Visual Studio Code. If you haven't installed this IDE where we write our codes for building softwares and web pages or websites, so I am gonna leave a link to check this if you haven't installed this Visual Studio Code. So here comes the opening with code. So you have to click on open with code. Basically, if you click at this explore explorer so you are gonna see a hamburger menu which contains the file and new folder and refresh make a new file click on it and name it whatever you want to name it this file i am gonna make it index dot html this is the extension which is used in every html okay so you have to hit enter and after that you will be able to write your html code here so the second thing we are gonna see that first we have to hit shift and plus with the number one button you will be able to see the exclamation mark which means emit abbreviation emit abbreviation mean a snippet a pre-written code which is going to be assigned by the visual studio code id so we are gonna click on it so here comes the dom structure you know the document object model of the html this is basically the html structure tree like structure like this is doc type html we have already discussed this and after this this is the html language tag and this is the head tag this is the meta character this is the also the meta tag and inside this is the title and this is the whole structure of a web page so now here we are enter an h1 tag okay and this is i am gonna tap this is my first web page control hit control s it will make the save and after that there are two options if you if you have installed the id like 
here you have to click on the extension first if you don't uh, see this option go live option so you should to install the live server extension live server extension it will bring for, bring it for you here I, you have seen that uh, you can see that i have already installed this extension so you have to make it installed in uh, in your uh, in your ide visual studio code so you will be able to see your web page content in the browser this is the function of this live go live extension so i have click at there this way it will take, take some time and bring the whole content of this html page in our browser here you can see that this is my first web page okay this is the content this is your first website congratulations so you should as a bug hunter you should to know the basics of this html and here you can see that ignore this code because this code is injected by the live server it is also commented it there so after that this is the whole html document we have written at there and uh, also this is our this is our h1 tag where we have written that this is my first web page this is the demo for you and uh, other you can explore the input tags like inject malicious codes and many more for example you can type email I am just basically clarifying you that this is the basic structure of this HTML basic structure of this HTML page so you can make this uh, whole compute website this tutorial is not going to be explaining the each and every steps of this making a website thanks for watching please subscribe and like the video support me for creating the other contents like this thank you